Hey, what's up guys, Nils here, welcome back to the channel. So, yesterday while opening here, during the evening, I actually ended up getting another shiny secret abbey, or actually my first shiny secret rather, but I have a whole bunch of normal ones, and it's actually been a while ever since I opened the shiny secret. However, I had a lot of people like asking me when am I gonna reroll passives on it, etc, 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 and I have noticed a lot, like ever since the ability dropped, that like people are going nuts when it comes to trading for lizard shards. And honestly, at first I thought it was like because of the divine, etc. But after talking with people, I realized that a lot, a lot of people actually are spending lizard shards on their uh, secret units or even shiny secret if you want. Depends what you have. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about this, guys, because I actually think that um, this is a very bad play for a lot of you. Now, I want to make this simple, right? If you are a free-to-play player or if you are like a, a beginner to slight intermediate, so you're like on the very, very like uh, lower stages of getting strong, it is okay to roll on this secret. But hear me out, please. If you are a player that's like intermediate towards advanced, because I have seen actually like advanced people rolling shards on these secrets, you are making a huge mistake. Now, you, if you're like slight of an advanced player, you will eventually get your hands on a Gilgamesh, right? Maybe not this update, but you will at least get it on the next update. So hear me out. The best thing that you can do for yourselves is to save all of these shards and stack them up for when you get this Gilgamesh. It's not really worth using the shards right now. Once again, I repeat, if you are an inter like if you are a beginner player or like you're slightly getting like a towards that intermediate like bracket you should use the shards because it's gonna be a very long time and it's gonna be hard for you to get a divine but if you're like a little bit of an advanced player like if you're actually decently strong at the game you should hold on to your shards now the reason why you should hold on your shards is that the difference actually from like map to map on the secrets is not that big of a deal so Let's have a look at Psychic side, right? So Psychic City Esper King is 380 base damage. Abby is 400 base damage. So we're only talking about a 5% damage increase. And it's actually not that impactful. Even if we make it into like a shiny and like max level, you see here 8.3 quad and Esper King is going to do like 7.8, right? It's not that big of a deal. Obviously on a shiny and max level, you see it and you are like, okay, that's a half a quad, so that's a lot. But in reality, it's not really that big of a deal. Like, save the shards because, guys, once you get your hands on this freaking, like, uh, divine here, if you have a shards to get a good passive on it, and when you turn it into a shiny, the power spec that you will get is insane. Like, it's not even comparable, right? The power spec is just too, too damn massive. So... I would highly, highly suggest you guys to save your shards if you are like towards the advanced player, stack them up. And now I don't know how much you should trade. I wouldn't say go ahead and trade for them. If you find like good opportunities to trade, do it. Like I have traded for about 50 of these 189 because I found like some really good deals. But for the most part, you really don't want to trade for them right now because they are really expensive and they are really hot and everyone is looking for them. But just keep it in mind that these will be a little bit better if you save them long term like the difference is actually huge on a divine a shiny divine and a secret and as you notice like the difference is not really that big and honestly if you go ahead and like and have a look on the discords trading for mob shards right now is not that hard like shards are very easy to come by and like you can even like get a good passive on the underworld rare or whatever his name is i kind of forgot Let's have a look right here real quick. Like you can even get like a good passive on a control master, right? So the fighter would still like be good. You see here I have this like blessing control master that's like 1.1 quad at level 250. So it is still a very, very good unit. So that was pretty much all I wanted to tell you. Just a quick reminder that if you are like one of these better players and you are like strong, you have like a couple of quad DPC, save up the shards because once you get that uh, new divine your DPC is just gonna skyrocket because imagine like getting a Gilgamesh and you have like three, four, five hundred of these like shards stocked up, which is what I am personally aiming to do. And like the moment you get like this Gilgamesh, you throw all of these shards in, and then perhaps depending on the situation and the time and like where you are on the update, if the update is coming up and the level cap, you might even like feed one of these like older units that you might have had, which is something that I'm considering to do. 
I might end up feeding one of these uh, Tac 3 Red Bats into my Gilgamesh once I get it. I think we're gonna level this up a little bit longer with uh, the incubator and one of these like red bats is gonna end up being food so yeah this is probably the best thing you can do and once you guys have a shiny gilgamesh at a very high level with the good passive your dpc is just gonna skyrocket so it's sort of like playing for the low for the longer run like you know like you're kind of like going a little bit slower, but once like everything like falls into place, this one the pieces just fall into place. It's just like a domino, and the difference is just gonna be much much bigger than just going for like a shiny secret or now or like a normal secret and then turning into shiny. And anyway, guys, that was pretty much all I wanted to tell you for this video. Now, once again, you have to judge based on your situation. Obviously, stacking up things and like waiting, waiting sometimes is not good. Sometimes it's better if you get like the intermediate, like the damage, like when you get it like right now and you don't wait. Especially, as I said, if you are a free to play player or if you're like somebody that uh, hasn't been playing the game for a long time and you're not that strong, you should uh, probably roll on a normal secret and try to get a good passive on a normal abbey. But yeah, if you're a little bit stronger, just save your shards, guys. Trust me, you are going to do yourselves a huge favor because once you get that Gilgamesh, it's going to be a complete game changer. Anyway, as always, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys all on the next one. Take care.